Uh, yes, sir, baby. On the radar. Yo, very special day. It's a Friday when we recording this. I got the one, the only Mr. Tactical Pressure himself. Ooh, what up? the worst, the worst. Yo, man, I'm so excited to have you here. Congratulations. The project's been out for a little while. We got the deluxe on the way coming July 30th. Thanks. You've been running shit up. How, you know, with, with this past year, first and foremost, since this has been like, it's been like a year since you really started blowing up. How has this past year of just kind of the music doing well, getting millions of views, the project, how has this time been for you, especially because we, we're, we're coming out of a pandemic now? Mm -hmm. I mean, it ain't really been too much of a difference. I feel like the word blow up, I don't really like that word at all because I don't feel like I, I fit that aspect in. Mm, okay. Way. Just I'm going up at a consistent rate I've been going up. So ain't really too much of a difference yet. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I've, I I want to get people a little more history about you, you know what I'm saying? Like, give me, a, how, did, how did we first get into the music? How did this first, because obviously, you know, you're from Canarsie, but how did you kind of first start getting into the music and kind of what was like the moment when you were like, oh, I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a take this seriously. We're going to do this. I always loved music in general. Mm -hmm. Like, I always used to freestyle with my mans and stuff for fun. And then when I started taking it seriously more, when I was in my son's sleepy backyard, and we was doing what you always do, listening to beats, smoking, freestyling and shit. And then niggas just telling me, I'm actually nice to this shit. I should take it seriously. Not even take it seriously, but feel me? Try to make music, and I did that. And we jacking it, so... That's who it started off. Did you feel like before that you were just kind of, you were like, eh, I'm not going to, I don't really want to do the music stuff like that. No, before it was really all for fun. So I, just, I just love music in general. Mm -hmm. All types of, one of my man, my man's Robert. This is mad long ago too. We had had his laptop and shit. Going garage band, just make songs for fun, do shit like that. So I always love music. Who who do you feel like were your biggest musical inspirations on uh, coming up or when you were younger? Like who did you, who did your parents play? Who did you kind of really tune into when you were when you were young I know my parents it was more more reggae and shit it was they wasn't really listening to okay yeah but I don't know I always loved R&B I always loved like when I think of artists it'd be too it'd be too hard for me to just name <laughs> artists it, it's just too many of them so like just know a lot of artists not only even hip-hop I fuck with R&B a lot and shit like that so it was funny because when when I had Dread on a few weeks ago he said his parents were mostly only playing like reggae and and like and like dance hall and things like that growing up and and he and he even joked he was like he's like yo I might even try to make some of that that type of music one day. No nah, kid, for my mom used to bump Mad John Legend too. I had a John Legend CD. I used to be listening to that nigga. I jack, I, jack that shit. <laughs> I love. I see. I don't feel like enough people have come on this show and said they they bumped John Legend like that. Like that's kind of that's kind of hard. So R&B was kind of like always like a, a a thing for you growing up and was and was obviously a big uh, a big musical influence. Mm -hmm. Definitely. That's nah, I like that because you know even even on the project, right? Like the project is 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 mostly drill, mm -hmm. but of course you you are getting a little bit into your singing bag, more melodic. You know, you you kind of get like the little hints of that because you know, drill is is is, is predominantly what you've done so far. But you kind of start getting the hints on this project. You're like, oh, I like I'm gonna see him do something different. Like he gonna tap into some new lanes. He's moving. Is that something that you feel like you personally really? You know, with, with this big ass R and B background that you have, and 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 whatnot, do you feel like that that's something that you're very passionate about doing going forward? Like, kind of not R and B specifically, but yeah. along the lines of more melodic stuff. Feel me? It depends with what I'm doing now with the drill shit. Get me, because I know eventually I'm gonna have to. You know, you got to be versatile in the music industry and shit like that. Like, you got to be able to adjust and 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 fit what's going on at a certain time. Like the way music be changing and shit. So. I just, R&B, that's one genre of music I feel like can never die out of nothing. That's, it's songs from back in the day that I've been listening to still, like, I fuck with and shit, so. Yeah. Do you, can never die out. 